Hi beautiful, welcome back to my channel. Please ignore the background noise because I am currently doing the laundry. Uh, anyway, I'm coming in here with you guys with no makeup on because I want you to really see what my skin looks like. So I have been testing out this Essex Secret Indian Healing Clay Mask for about four days straight. So it's been a couple of weeks since the last time I did the um, the face mask routine so I did it on the first day and the main ingredient that I put in was just the clay mask and water because I have quite a sensitive skin and based on the reviews that I've heard this clay mask can tend to irritate skins so the safest way for me to do it is to use with water because in a way it won't be extremely harsh on my skin this is what my skin looked like before I started using the mask. So I had this face mask on for about a minute and my skin feels so tight. I definitely don't feel any pulsating sensation like other people say. Mainly because I only use the um, water instead of apple cider vinegar but around this area right here starting to dry a little bit around this area right here is very very tight and so is my forehead I feel a little bit of tingle around my breakouts which is the chin area and the neck area I guess that's a good sign because I know that the mask is working so I'm going to wait for about 20 minutes I'll rinse it off and I'll show you guys what my skin looks like after so the first day i definitely noticed a huge difference from before and after because my my face was a little bit dull and then after i took off the mask my face become a lot brighter though it felt very 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 matte and awfully clean i quickly applied a cold aloe vera gel just to soothe my skin after applying the mask I have acne prone skin and I actually quite like the feeling of having a really tight skin because it makes me think that my skin is thoroughly clean. Second day I used it, that's when I started feeling the pulsation. So it says that your face will pulsate as you put on the mask. On the first day, I didn't necessarily feel any pulsation. It just felt like a normal clay mask. I took the mask off. My face felt a little bit red, especially around the cheek area, the chin and the forehead, mainly on my problem areas. So I thought, oh my god, maybe it's my skin reacting badly. But then again, the redness goes away after about 10 minutes. But then I felt like my skin was quite smooth. Though, after that second day, my breakouts started coming out. I think it's something to do with it trying to clear out all my pores so all the gunk that was left in there for years decided to come out so i freaked out and i stopped for one day because they're one of those really really painful breakouts so i still have scars from it so it's mainly around my neck area so around here and then a little bit of my jaw so i stopped for a day and then the next day i continued doing it again i noticed that my breakouts didn't necessarily go away it didn't really dry out my breakout so i'm not sure if it's really working or not so i guess this face mask is said to be used only twice a week because this intense face mask will really clean out your pores that sometimes it's kind of tough on your skin because your skin won't be able to breathe and do its own usual thing if you keep putting on harsh stuff so that's actually the mistake that i did in the past using a lot of acne medications all at once without letting my skin breathe and so i've had really bad acne breakouts for years until about three years ago when i finally narrowed down my routine so i freaked out and then i stopped again and then for the next day i kind of just tried it for two days consecutively and then i noticed that my face is a lot brighter my pores is a lot smaller and the breakouts are still there but the scarring is not because usually i would scar really bad so i would have like really black intense scar but then after using this mask it kind of faded away it brightened up everything and i had like extremely smooth even skin so i think that worked needless to say this face mask is really great 
I guess I wouldn't recommend you using it consecutively because your skin will definitely aggravate and freak out. This face mask would be great to use once or twice a week. So I have yet to try using this face mask with apple cider vinegar because it is the best and recommended mixing agent to mix with this. It kind of activates all the particles that are already in this clay mask. I would definitely recommend this for those of you who suffer from acne and occasional breakouts. If you have really dry skin and dehydrated skin, I feel like you won't really like this because it will make your skin very, very clean, very, very dry and very, very matte. I've noticed that by using this, I wasn't as oily prior to using this, which I think is a really good thing because I'm the type of person where it doesn't matter what kind of foundation I use, it will just melt off. Like literally melt off. Even the Estee Lauder Dop Well, like I love that foundation. But if I wear that for more than 14 hours, it'll just disappear on my skin because I have excessively oily skin that no matter what product I put in, it just dissolves and disappear. But by using this, it kind of tamed my oily skin. Mind you, I'm still oily right now. It wasn't as bad as I used to. So all in all, from rating this face mask 1 to 10, I would say this is a 7. Mainly because I quite have a sensitive skin. So it kind of irritated my skin in a way. But then again, it works at the same time. I feel like this mask must be try to be able for you to judge on your own because this mask can work on other people or even me but this might not work for you so if you see this definitely try it for your own sake thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video helped and i will catch you on the next video bye